So as you can see in this drawing, we're left with really a mere shell, just outlines of regions that we are going to then fill with surface planes and use to extrude into the third dimension. But how are we going to see that happen? Well, we certainly need to look at 3D objects from a three-dimensional style view. And to do that, we choose the view commands and then display a 3D view into a new window. So we'll still keep our two-dimensional plan view available. And I typically like to work with either an isometric or a perspective view. So let's first switch to an isometric view and have a look at what that looks like. Just zoom out. So you can see the information here, exactly the same information as you could see here. And just to give you an idea of what's going on here, if I just choose to draw a line and I start in this view and I click here, you'll see that it's happening in both views at the same time. So it understands that really all we're doing is looking at the same object with two different cameras. Within a three-dimensional view, if I hold down my Alt key on the keyboard and I roll my mouse wheel, I can actually rotate the view around a given point. I can also, by pressing down on the wheel of my mouse and then moving my mouse around, I can actually change the orientation of the entire view itself. So by doing this, working this way in a three-dimensional view, you can walk around and manipulate your viewing position very, very easily. I like to work both in plan view and 3D view most of the time. 